Oi vey. Hey guys, welcome back to Mega Man. And now we are going to be taking on Dr. Wily's stages. This are really hard stages. There are four of them, and they're gone. It's a gauntlet. And well, something to note, in the future games, Dr. Wily's spaceship is like blue, but now it's red. Anyway. The Dr. Wily levels consist of four really hard back-to-back -back levels, which are gauntlets, in that your weapon engine will not refill upon completion of one of them. And you start off with three big eyes. That's jerkish. Look how much my health has shaved down already. At least, yeah, bring the ice shooter, because I'm pretty sure three hits from these guys will kill you. Three big eyes. Back to back. You think that's enough? Yeah, seriously. This is these are not easy stages. And now you have to use the power arm to break in. And uh now once again use the ice shooter. And wow, I did this on my first try. This is really hard because you have to freeze these things in the proper timing or else you will not get up there. I made it look much easier than I need to, it's really hard. And thank goodness this wep this ener energy capsule is there. Let's try that again. Conserve your magnet, you might recommend it. And watch out for the spikes, they're instant death like I said before. And I just want to say something, the Magnet Beam is required. You cannot beat the game without the Magnet Beam. The point you need the Magnet Beam will be coming up soon. Oh, and uh, you can also use the Elect Beam to take care of these things. I actually forgot about that. Hold on. There we go. So let's take... Let's go here. Get this energy capsule, and yeah, might as well uh, work on getting these things. And although the elect, elect beam has a lot of, uh, ooh, sweet, a lot of energy, weapon energy, it can still be drained a lot, because we will be using the elect beam a lot in these stages. I do like this theme, though. <laughs> yeah, every level, I'm like, I like this theme. Yeah, I like this theme. Okay, one thing I recommend here, destroy a shark missile, make a jump. Destroy shark Arc missile die. Well that oh. How convenient. Let's try that again. I did not know that happened. Yeah, another annoying thing about Mega Man is he has rather annoying momentum. Seriously. Uh oh, look at that shark missile. Uh, I'll be right back. I am back. After that frustrating game over, where I swear I tapped the jump button, but it just did not work. And I don't get. Oy vey! Look, look again, that guy. Is... Okay, let's try that again. I don't know why this is happening, because I made this through this in one try in the practice run, and this is literally the first time I've ever played this game where this happened. I have attempted to beat this game a bunch of times, it's just, I always rage quit it on Dr. Wily's stage 2, because it's so hard, but I, like, never have trouble on that. Oh, and another thing, if you switch weapons on ladders, Eggman will let go. Ah! Come on! Why am I dying so much? You know what, I'm just gonna magnet beam. I have no idea why I'm having so much trouble now, all of a sudden here. Because this part really never has given me troubles like this before. How's anyone supposed to dodge that? I'm sorry if I'm just starting to be ranting and stuff, but I do not like these stages at all. Oh, and something I should probably mention, these capsules respawn infinitely. It's like, see here, look. And 
they respawn. And how is anyone supposed to dodge that? Seriously. And you will be needing them, Hagnet Beam. Here it is required. Yeah, I hate spikes in Mega Man 1, they're annoying. And this is the part where the Magnet Beam is required. You need the Magnet Beam to get up here. And luckily I had just enough to get me up. And oh boy, this is the hardest boss in all of Mega Man, I'm pretty sure. A lot of people know what this is. I am not even going to attempt to beat him the legit way. I am going to be using a glitch known as the pause glitch. Essentially, in Mega Man 1, select, the select button, will um, pause the game, and somehow doing so, it will cause these hits to count for multiple times, and thus, yeah. And this is Yellow Double, by the way. He's so hard. He's infamous. Because of just how fast these things move, and just how impossible it is to dodge them. I'll attempt to beat him like an extras video, but because that's not going to happen anytime soon, me beating him legit. There you go, I used the pause glitch. I don't care if I cheated, there's no other way I'm able to beat him legit. And now we're on to Dr. Wily Stage 2. I am out of lives, and I should probably just kill myself now, because this is not an easy stage. I mean, there are extra lives in this stage, I know where they are. But I do not consider myself good at all. And, you know, I'm out of Magnet Beam, so what am I going to do? And, you know, you're going to need a lot of Lech Beam, too. Anyway, cut man, but well, we defeated you. <laughs> um, yeah, you, this is the point where you'll battle the reconstructed robot masters. However, there's something a little different about Mega Man 1. Instead of the future games where it's a gauntlet and it's like a boss rush mode, it's essentially thrown on you sporadically and you have no control over it. And how's that fair? Like, you just hit me. I'm gonna use the Elect Beam here so I can... Anyway... Anyway, I'm gonna continue this. And Elect Man, yikes. I'm doomed. You're gonna need the rolling cutter to beat him, like I stated. And wow. Yeah, sometimes, because the rolling cutter like will ricochet like that, it is possible to land multiple hits on him with one rolling cutter. But it's kind of unlikely and hard to do. And I need health desperately. These things from Bomb Man Sage Return, and this time they're near impossible to dodge unless you can just get out of the way completely. And the checkpoint is coming up, I think. And this is where that extra life is. But oops, but oops, I need Magnet Beam. Unless this guy will drop. Not exactly what I wanted. Yeah, I'm pretty much not gonna do this because this boss coming up is really hard. probably refill my magnet beam. I doubt I'm going to win this, because this is really hard. I mean, if I'm lucky, I will, but I'm not very lucky, and this is a hard boss, as I said time and time again. This is the one boss that has kept me from beating the game, or not beating the game, but getting to Wild Stage 3. I'm going to attempt to beat him now just to show you who he is, and yeah.
This is the Mega Clone. <laughs> he is really annoying. He will copy whatever weapon you have. I usually use the Scorch Wheel. Or, not the Scorch Wheel. I don't know what this weapon is called. A good strategy is just to keep jumping and shooting. Because that's how you... Oh my goodness, I cannot believe I did that. I'm so proud of myself. Yeah, you have no idea how proud of myself of doing that, because, like, I never do that. Wow. Well, even still, there's probably no, no way I'm going to beat the next stage. But anyway, I'll see you for the next stage, where we'll take on Wily Stage 3. <laughs> and hopefully end this. Actually, no. Why don't we just continue the video, just because I feel like it. And maybe I should have paid more attention there. I can actually make... I've actually been train myself to make it through all these. Whoa. And it's... yeah. Yikes, look how much stuff they're throwing at you here. This game does not mess around. Yeah, 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 yeah. that's a ridiculous thing to say. I was like, yeah, Who said that? Only me. That's who I am. That's the weirdo I am. Uh, you're gonna want to refill a lot of your weapons, like Electbeam. What I recommend hey, doing is just standing back like this and just keep shooting. So, because you cannot go back no matter how much you try here. Oh, I also like this stage theme. <laughs> I like all the stage themes. The only ones I don't really like are Bomb Man's, because it's not. Nothing really too much about it. Iceman, because there's nothing also much about it that I remember. Uh, yeah. And there's not much else to say. We're just going through here. And we're about to fight a really hard boss. The reason I didn't just kill myself is because the stage isn't that short, so I can at least show it before I get a game over. I don't know the name of this thing, so I'm just going to call it The Bubble. The Bubble is very annoying, in that it moves around the room so sporadically and annoying it shoots these things at you and is impossible to dodge. Once you have killed The Bubble three times with your Mega Buster like so, you can use those to throw at it. And anyway. And one thing I should mention is... Actually, no. I'm gonna cut back to where I was, and I'll see you guys then. Anyway, we're back. And one of those guys actually dropped an extra life for me. I don't really know of any weaknesses of this guy besides just the Mega Buster. And to be honest, I'd rather not experiment now. So I'm just gonna use the Mega Buster on the bubble. <laughs> I like the name, The Bubble. I'm gonna call it that from now on, The Bubble. Anyway, once you have The Bubble's health down, take, use the power arm to grab these bolt, these things, and just throw it at it. The reason why I would not recommend doing this before is that if you get, if you die, these will not respawn unless you get a game over. And that's The Bubble, as I call it. I don't know its official name, I don't care. Let's just keep going. Next time on Mega Man, we will tackle Dr. Wily Stage 4 and beat this game, the finale. See you guys then.